What's up everybody? Welcome to Ravenel Ford Videos. My name's Chad and today we're on Charleston Car Videos YouTube channel taking a look at the 2017 Ford Flex SEL front wheel drive. So let's go ahead and get the ball started. We'll be doing a, uh, a walk around video on this vehicle and uh, some of the things I'll be definitely covering is the pricing structure here at Ravenel Ford because I really do believe it's just so important to talk about the price and how they price vehicles out. And then we'll also look at some of the options and things like that on the vehicle. So uh, I won't get too crazy in depth, like a 20 minute video, but this probably will run, you know, less than 10 minutes, something like that. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First off, white is the color, right? It's the Ford Flex. This is kind of like minivan slash SUV, you know, what is it, right? It's kind of cool though, you know, it's, it's got a cool look to it. And I like that big Flex logo right up on the hood there. So anyways, right on the front end, looking nice. Nice and wide. I mean, look how wide that vehicle is. Big windshield, big hood, got the fogs down in the bottom bumper there. So that's looking pretty good. I would be uh, curious to see if they're going to do a redesign on this vehicle in the near future, maybe in 2018. If so, I'd like to see what they're going to do. Or will they you know, take it out the uh, model lineup altogether. I really don't know. So anyways, but I like the Flex and hopefully Ford keeps it around for a while. And they already have for the most part. So the sides of the vehicle on the Flex, you can see kind of have those indentions on the door to give it that cool kind of sporty uh, look. <laughs> trying to find the words that match up on that. Um, we do have alloy wheels, Goodyear tires. Not bad, brand new tires, brand new wheels. Again, it's a brand new car, right? So that's looking pretty good. I'm trying to see what size rims they are. I mean, I'm guessing they're 18s, and yep, they are 18s with a 235 60 series tire. Not bad. I like how it's kind of got the black going up on the A pillar there and onto the mirror. Not bad. Um, this one up top doesn't have any sunroofs, as you can see. But you can get it. We have another flex right down there. But you can get it with dual sunroofs or even maybe it's a panoramic glass sunroof up on top of the flex. Uh, it's going to be a little tough to see the window sticker here, but I will tell you a couple things. Uh, 23 highway mile per gallon, 16 city average combined, 19. And uh, yep, it's a seven passenger vehicle with a 3.5 liter V6 up under the hood. Okay. Rear deck, uh, rear, t rear tinted windows. This one's even got a rear tow package in the back, dual exhaust, backup sensors, backup camera, all that good stuff. The key is inside the car, so when we get in there, we can check it out. But it does have a power tailgate feature. Just hit that button right under there, or you can click it on the remote, and it will open that right on up for you, which isn't too bad. I like a power tailgate feature on a vehicle. Um, come standard third row seats, of course. Uh, plenty of headroom up top, as you can notice there. So that's pretty nice. Uh, second row seats will fold down as well. You got a power outlet in the back. You got a net that comes with it. And, um, and these are pretty simple to, to pop up just like that then grab. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and pretty simple, right? Let's see. There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so that doesn't want to click properly, but anyways. I, if I had two hands, it'd be a little easier. But anyways, there is a way to pop that up just like on the other side there. Not bad, not bad at all. Where is the button to drop that back down? Well, it's right over here on the left-hand side by that pole. And there is a sensor on there too as well. So if, you know, if you're still standing under it while it's going down, if it bumps you on the head, it'll go right back up. I always like to point out that's your squirter for your uh, soap and window washer fluid. There's a third brake light that sits right behind there, and then that's your wiper right there. You know, I learned last week with all the rain we had in South Carolina, these little back wipers aren't cheap. I mean, you want to get a decent wiper for the back of your car, it's, you know, it's 12 to 20 dollars even front wipers on a vehicle nowadays started around you know 18 dollars and up i mean wipers are not cheap folks um, i learned that myself car needed wipers got them so when you buy a new car it's great to have a new pair of wipers anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the price here for just a moment because this is where i tell all of y'all right now if you don't live in south carolina and you know you're not going to come to ravenel ford to buy a vehicle because it's maybe just too far right you could take this video and walk into another ford dealer and say, hey, what is this price? Why can't you do this, right? So let's look at it. There's retail, 37,985. That's on the Maroni label over there. $1,553 is a discount. 36,432 is 98 over invoice. We sell them all that way. Less the rebate of 2850, easy price, 33,582. 
So that's a pretty substantial discount going from almost 38 grand to 33.5, right? Pretty good deal there. Also, no dealer admin fees, no dock fees at all. Those are those extra fees that get added on when you're doing the paperwork. And another thing too is we don't do any added on accessories and things like that, okay? A lot of dealers, they'll have that little sticker that sits right there next to the Moroni label and it'll have dealer added on options and it may add up to 15, 2,000, 3,000 dollars. We don't do that because we just don't want to add things onto the vehicle that people necessarily might not want, okay? That becomes where the car buying process doesn't become easy. It becomes difficult and people are having to do things they don't want to do and basically what that is is haggling with the sales guy to take those things off or, or discount the price and then the car gets put in the shop for two hours to take mud flaps off and, and some sort of wax that they put on the car, right? It's just a pain in the butt. So anyways, let people pick out what they want to add on the vehicle. Don't do it for them. That's how my logic is on that. Now, I don't see anything wrong with having a car in a showroom, you know, one of each model that's fully loaded out with all these cool features on it so y'all can see what they look like. But anyways, not every car on the lot. Uh, wood trim, power windows, power door locks. You do have auto up and down on both driver passenger side, memory seats, power seats, power lumbar, nice leather seat. Look at that. It's a nice soft leather seat. It's a nice big seat too. It's like a lazy boy chair almost, huh? Let's go ahead and hop in on the inside and see what we got going on in here. And see what makes this vehicle so cool, right? Well, oh, it got quiet, okay? So that's one thing that's nice, it's quiet. You do have, here's your key, smart key. You even got remote start on there. But that key just stays in your pocket or purse, walk in, put your foot on the brake, hit that button. Cranks up the car. Okay, and that's nice. I like that push start. I like these LCD screens right here. Nice and legible. And I, I really, it's hot today, I really do like the AC blowing nice and hard on me. But uh, I don't like doing that when, when I'm doing a video. It usually hits the microphone. So how do, we, how do we drop down the AC fan control? Here we go. Not bad. So leather wrapped steering wheel, feels good. Sunglass holders up top. I was looking at a Volkswagen last week, a brand new car. Had a spot for sunglass holders on the fully loaded SCL Premium. Didn't have sunglasses though. Didn't have sunglass holders though, right? What was under there? I don't know. Do you got uh, home link, garage door openers, gate, cut your lights on. There's your light. Open that up. Here you go. It's that way on both sides. This feels good. The steering feels good. Lots of buttons and controls, audio, you know, you can control those screens right there through these buttons. I can't get into all that right now. Again, I'm not trying to make a full in-depth video. Um, I would rather y'all, if you live in the Carolinas, come on by the store and let the guys go over it with you. But this is a really nice interface in here. Um, this is not the fully loaded out Flex. You can get it with a Sony stereo system and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes I like to show y'all the vehicles that are the entry level car, right? So you can still see what all you get. Um, still getting micro or, or not Microsoft Sync, but Sync now. Okay, Microsoft's no longer with Ford. Um, that was Ford's decision, and uh, it's Sync. Cup holders look good. Basically, Sync is uh, your USB auxiliary ports and all this cool system stuff in here. Uh, does have backup camera. Put it in reverse. There's your camera. Now this particular one uh, does have the uh, when you move the steering wheel the guidelines turn with you which is nice that's helpful doesn't have any more cameras than that though on this particular model but at least you still get a nice uh, backup camera uh, center console is nice and big look how long that is it's soft two USB ports down there and a um, power outlet not bad there's your big glove box not bad so that's kind of the front. Let's look in the back. All right. Well, I like how it's got a big cup holder there. Throw a bottle of water in there. That's good for the kids. A little cubby hole space down there. Throw some things in, little, little toys, stuff like that. Right? I got kids, so I know how it is, folks. If you got kids, you know how it is, too. Plenty of room in the back though. I love the back seats. They look just as comfortable as the front seats. I like how you got all these little uh, rear air controls in the back. I like how it's got a 110 volt, 150 watt outlet there and a 12 volt over there. This folds out, cup holders, very nice. 
throw the iPads and the tablets in the back of there, no more paper maps anymore, right? And uh, yeah, pretty roomy in the back, even roomy in the third row seats back there for you. So this is a nice car, folks, the Ford Flex. If you're looking for something that's not a minivan, because you know your wife said, I just don't want to drive a minivan. Well, there's the Ford Flex, okay? It looks cool, it's long, so with a long wheelbase on it, definitely gonna give you a better ride quality. That's the Flex in a nutshell, from Chad with Charleston Car Videos here today at Ravenel Ford. If you're watching the video and you enjoy my commentary about going around it, let me know in the comments. Some of y'all been doing that lately and I really do appreciate your comments and your support. So thank you so much. And if you could do one more thing for me, subscribe on YouTube, okay? Every week we're putting videos out online from all the different stores around town, but Ravenel Ford, we're hooking it up. So come on down and see us today. Have a good one. I really do appreciate it. And remember, all new vehicles, 98 over invoice, and no D-Rabbit fees, no dog fees, and no added-on accessories. It really is car buying made easy.